Hey everybody, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love. Tara, today's topic is all about Divine Fam. Period. So if you don't want to know about Divine Fam, click off. Divine Fam, if you don't want to talk about yourself right now, click off. Because this video is all about Divine Fam. Because I'm getting the energy about Divine Fam that has been kind of bothering me today. And um, now is the time to talk about it. So I'm just ground myself first. So, yeah, I want to just pull Divine Fam's energy because I'm feeling like Divine Fam wants to throw in the towel about something. It could be a relationship. It could be anything that you've been trying to work towards, right? Um, I just want to pull Divine Fam's energy. So, let's dive right into it. Now, Wonderlust. Here you go, Divine Fam. There, there you go. In this big, 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 big world. And you feel as though it's so many obstacles to get to what it is that you truly want. No matter what it is, you don't have to be ashamed of it. You know, say it out loud. It's your life. You're living it, right, Divine Fam? It's like you always second guess. Like, oh, but can I really have that? Yes. Who said you couldn't? Divine film, stop acting like that, okay? Uh, I know it's I know it's like you went through experiences that made your heart cold, that turned you cold. It's like it really did, and you just was like, see, look what this made me do, like type of thing. It's like it's like you was warning people that you was gonna be like this. Somebody here is got chewed out. You chewed somebody out recently, Divine Fam, and it was because hmm, you've been feeling really misunderstood. But I don't know, maybe that part isn't isn't as important as the fact of you're feeling like there's obstacles in your way towards getting what it is that you want. You deserve what it is that you want because you're alive and you're living. And life is to be lived. So now you're on this journey that you feel is treacherous. You feel like it's it's going to be a lot of things you're going to have to go through to get what it is that you want. But I see you taking the first step and I see you going towards it. Now we can read the actual back of the card. Uh, spontaneous, curious, and minimally adventurous. You know, it's like the open road is calling and it's like you only got $1,300 in a backpack and, you know, like you teach children abroad and it's just like you're just this all around person, Divine Fam, point blank, period. Like you do a lot of things. You don't even, it's like you don't even see the light that you give off, you know? Thailand is the place because it's like Thailand is mystical, but it's definitely like a vibe, right? I feel divine film. I feel like you're a vibe, like everything about you, real adventurous, real outgoing. And it's like part of you feels like, yeah, it's a lot ahead of me, but it's like the other part of you is happy about the adventure. So we'll sit that up there. Okay, that fell out, so we'll take it. We have you coming out of heartbreak. This is what you're leaving behind. You're leaving behind difficult times. You know? And you're moving towards this Ace of Wands, this new beginning. This new adventure, right, Divine Film? That's you. Leaving heartbreak, going towards what it is that you really want. Look, you're leaving a situation behind. A situation you could have been in for a while. I'm definitely seeing some new third party energy. I don't know if this was just arising right when you were leaving the situation or what. But I'm seeing all of that is left behind. You're leaving everything behind. And you're starting anew. You don't care if you have to get it out the mud, right? You got to get dirty to get it or... Get this accomplished. You know a lot is ahead of you, but you know where you have come from. And you're willing to fight, right? 
what will divine fam run into as they go on this adventure that's what i want to know hmm. we have rest and recovery so i definitely see you healing divine fam on this adventure right healing from what heartbreak Yeah, I definitely see you moving towards something. Divine fam, where are you going? You got somebody in mind? Let's see. Oh, okay. So you're moving towards getting out of this defensive energy. You're trying to heal. That's what you're running towards. A peace of mind. Nothing's wrong with that, right? So I want to know um, what is going to be the outcome of this. Like... What's going to be the outcome of this adventure for Divine Film? I'm excited for you. Okay, coming out of the cold. Right? Coming out of this heartbreak, healing. Not feeling out there. Having some stability, you know? Yeah, it's like you're leaving. You feel as though... Is this the right choice that I made, you know, at the same time? It's like, not even that. It's like, you're questioning, okay, you left a situation for one. That's what this is. But for two, it's like you're questioning, like, what you've learned, you know? I want to know underneath here. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like this transformation. It's like you're not letting go of something. Hmm, wanting a victory. What do you want this? You didn't get a victory. Oh, because you, you want the truth. You're watching someone. Are you watching someone, Divine Fam? It's, that's it. You're holding on to this situation. It's like as soon as you get out of the cold, right? That's why I'm saying it's like. You almost second guess yourself, right? But you're not, you know, you know, you come a long way, but it's like, oh, but I still miss Greg, you know, not like that. I mean, you can be a male or a female, flip it or switch it, how it resonates. This is a divine feminine collective, but yeah, it's like you're looking back on this person and you're wondering, you're in your head. And you're thinking like, man, should I have really left this situation? I mean, I know I'm, I kind of feel a little better off. I'm out of the cold. My feelings, you know, it's like now that you started to heal, now that you're looking back on it, like, well, my feelings aren't really hurt now. I mean, I'm healed. I really could just talk to this person. You know, it's like you don't even talk to this person anymore. So it's like now you're kind of watching. You're trying to see what's this person up to. Maybe I can see some type of truth. Maybe I can see something. And if it's safe to go back in, I'll go back in and talk to them. I want to know. Yeah, but it's it's not it's not risk fulfillment. It's not going to be what you want. It's not really what you want, Divine Fam. It's not going to be stable. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I feel as though there's something better for you. Yeah, you want to come out of this energy. This is your wish fulfillment. To come out of this struggling energy, this wounded warrior, you want to move on. I want to know what you're going to manifest, Divine Fam. Let's go ahead and get some of that energy out. Because it's like you're looking to your past, right? You're looking to your past as you're in your head. But I want to know what is Divine Fam manifesting uh what what is the message from the universe right now so divine fam this is your message from the universe it's saying obstacles are detours in the right direction let me put that a little bit closer obstacles are detours in the right direction divine fam these are nothing but like little hiccups right this is just a little hiccup with you looking back, wanting to know, you know, look at this. I mean, yeah, this is not a little hiccup, but it's like, pace yourself. You can handle this. You like the excitement. You deserve the excitement, right? When I focus on my inner light, right? When I said the light, you know, it's a light about you, divine fam. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. It's like... 
Remember I said you were coming out of the energy of, of feeling like you were out there, like no stability type of thing, right? But it's like when you lean on your inner light and you're on your inner knowing, this innerness, this inner light that you have about you, it's like this adventurous side to you, this pure innocent side. And it's like when you lean on that, you're going to see that the world is really this grand adventure to be that life is meant to be lived. And you're going to have this perception that I am protected. I am safe. You may be doing some working with the moon. That's all I want to say. Um, oneness is my true nature. Right? Because you're one with the universe. Right? That's the truth. Right? And you surrender to a power that's greater than you. This is what you're manifesting, Divine Fam. Transformation. I see that. It's like you're being sucked into... Some of y'all like um, Star Wars or watched... What's the other one? Why am I just thinking of Spock? Uh, oh, man. I don't know why I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, uh, Star Trek. Yeah, right. Um, but I see you being sucked into this new idea, this new perception, this new transformation about yourself. And you're going to do this by surrendering this power. By surrendering, by surrendering to a greater power. It's like I can't even talk because there's so much exciting things that's going to be happening for you, Divine Fam. It's like you're going to be so hard. It's going to be hard to catch up with yourself. So pace yourself, okay? And know that, you know, this is your true nature, this oneness, right? Clarify obstacles in the right direction for a divine fam, please. Like they're just detours in the right direction, right? Because it says you're the goddess of light. And, you know, heavy emphasis on light here. It says we are all sacred mirrors reflecting back that same light. So it's like, you know, you give good, you're going to receive good. And know that those, those obstacles are just detours in the right direction. It's like, you're afraid, Divine Fem, but it's no need to be afraid. Because the mystic of divine love, it's like love is divine and I am nothing except love. Okay, know that you give that, you're going to receive that. Point, point blank period, okay? And it's like when I focus on the inner light i see the lens i see the world through the lens of love i want to clarify that please here we have the goddess of all that flows so go with the flow divine fam i am an ocean of creative energy i give birth to what exists within me you're steady manifesting divine fam Yeah, of true power, okay? I call my power back from all the times and all the places. I am my own, okay, Divine Fam? Stop spreading out that energy, right? I'm just getting, like, you're pulling back your energy, even from when you wanted to go back and you were having second guesses, like, huh, oh, maybe I really want to go back and be with this person. No, you don't. Pull that energy back. That's what you're going to do. You're pulling back all of this energy and you're seeing things for what it truly is. Oneness is my true nature. Clarify that for me, please. And thank you. So here we have the red goddess. Playfulness is a spiritual power. Laughter leads me back to the light. You know, it's just this, your true nature, Divine Fem, at least this Divine Fem that I'm seeing in this collective, for this collective right now, right here. It's a venturedness to you. It's a lightheartedness to you. It's like, I would love to hang out with you, Divine Fem. The energy that I'm getting is the, the person that I would gravitate, gravitate towards and like a party and like hanging out. Nice, low-key vibe, but definitely fun as hell. I'm sorry. 
This is just a true fun vibe. I'm telling you, Divine Fem. If you're around people that's trying to ghost you, that's trying to play you, move around. Don't let them taint this good energy you got. You don't even realize this about yourself. You a diamond in the rough, boo. Anyway, the saint of true freedom. You know, you have this freedom about you, right, Divine Femme? And love is what sets me free. I am married to my own soul. That's you, Divine Femme. I just got done saying this about this energy about you. You know, reclaim that energy. Stop playing around. Lilith, the first woman. Okay? This is the overall energy here. I am the voice of my body and soul. And I choose the life that I desire to live. You're a manifester, divine fam. And you know, just take that power back and just manifest everything that you want. Okay? Not even a little bit. All of it and more. You owe that to yourself, Divine Fam. Get out your head. Stop thinking stuff is too hard and go and make it happen. Because it's there for you. It's your destiny. I want to know three hidden truths that's hidden from Divine Fam. Okay, so we have three cards right here, y'all. So this is what I'm taking. This is what I'm being told to read. Not these here. I'm going to shuffle these so I can get a fresh bottom deck energy because I, I'm going to let you all know that everything here is truth. It's live. You see it all right here. Spirit's about to make an example of somebody here. I don't know why. Okay, so it says, follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life. What I just get done telling you to buy? Then I say spirit finna make an example out of somebody. And it's follow your heart desires. Quit playing games, okay? Go out there and live your best life. It's right here. You see it right here. It's coming right out in front of you. Now let's see what these three cards is. Because spirit say they about to show out. First one here. First thing you got the game. Is love yourself. As much as you want your soulmate to love you. Did you hear that, Divine Fam? It's like love yourself as much as you would want your soulmate to love you. For some of you, when you do this, you're going to come into union with your soulmate. Because you have to be love in order to give love, right? You got the mystic of divine love. Love is divine and I am nothing except love, right? So it's saying love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. And then bam, they're here. That's manifestation. That's what you do, right? When you follow your heart's desires and you manifest the heck out of your life. The next thing we have here is the more loving care you give yourself, the more love you have to give others. Didn't I just say that? Oh, okay. So here it is a little closer. Give yourself that love, Divine Fem. Go ahead and manifest the heck out of your life. You're the only one standing in your way. And lastly, we have sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cry all night. You're strong, Divine Fem. And you won't have to cry no more. Cause you got all of the tools. You're, you're the man. You're the magician. You have all of the tools that you need to manifest this. So come on out your head. Go ahead and manifest it. Yeah. Have that conversation with yourself. Look, you're in a mental prison right now. Sit down and have, matter of fact, have that conversation with your spirit guides. This could be your spirit guides reaching out to you, wanting to help you. Here you are thinking you're all alone. And then, bam, here you go. You got, look, look, this you thinking you all alone, crying up all night. Sometimes the people, the strongest people in the morning are the ones who cry all night. This you crying all night. Oh, yeah, in despair. 
right? And look, this you, you know, in your head and stuff. I don't know which one of these is you, but you somewhere around in here because these is your spirit guides too. This could potentially be you when you open up because look, you all alone. You think you alone, but look, this you talking to all your spirit guides. This your whole crew right here. Your whole spiritual crew. Ancestors and all. That's just waiting. Like, come on, reach out. We got your back. Come on, reach out. What you need? We got you. So know that you're not alone, please, Divine Fam. Come out of this. Stop sighing. Stop looking out for your ships to come in. This your crew right here. They right here with you. You walking around, going to the cemetery, trying to go visit your people you thought you lost. And they right here with you. They with you, Divine Fam. They not there, boo. They with you right now. When you was crying. When you was being stressed out. I know you was hearing those little sparks of positivity. That was your intuition, but also your higher self, your ancestors, your angels, your team. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Can I make this up? Console. Go to your, your religion, what you believe in, of course. But know that you definitely got ancestors around you and they're waiting. You reach out. A lot of you, like you don't remember your dreams and it's because you've been with your ancestors. You've been doing stuff in the astral realm and some of you have blockages and you feel like you're not ready for that. But the moment that you decide that you are and that you want that, then go ahead and follow your intuition. Yeah, go for that journey, right? Here you go, Divine Fam. That journey, right? That wonderlust. Go ahead and make it happen. I, I want to know all about it. Well, just not on here. Because my comments is off. But I do want to know all about it. So comment on one of the clips or something. <laughs> but this has been a collective for Divine Fam. So if this resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Personal readings, you can book at www.livelaughlovetary.com. I have 30-minute readings, and I also have one-hour readings. I just want to thank you all for all of, the, all of the donations, all of the support. Y'all have been so supportive. I want to thank all of my new subscribers, all of my subscribers. I, I want to just welcome y'all to this Live, Laugh, Love, Terry community, and I want to say thanks so much for all of the love y'all giving, okay? Peace and love.